Central government on Friday issued guidelines for extended lockdown restrictions after classification of districts into red, orange and green zones based on COVID-19 risk profiling. During the extended period of the lockdown, many activities have been allowed in orange and green zone, while red zone sees a limited opening for providing essential services. Up next, we'll take a close look at all the guidelines for the three zones. And here we have the visuals. Yes, the graphics on your screens, identification of the zones. As we told you, green zones are the districts with zero confirmed cases. Red zones or the hotspot districts are defined by the health ministry, taking into account the total number of active cases, doubling rate of the cases, extent of testing. And also the next zone is the orange zone that are neither defined as green zones or the red zones. Now, these are uh, the guidelines for uh, the government to see the containment zone most sensitive from COVID-19 viewpoint. And this, uh, these are the measures which are being taken by the uh, government. On your screens, we have from counselling to tracking people, tracing people. And uh, the up next, we have on your screens are the activities which are prohibited throughout the country, irrespective of the zone. Remember, the third phase of the lockdown begins today. And some activities are allowed in the green and orange zones, but restrictions... Uh, strict compliance of restrictions is to be there in the red zones. Now, these are the activities which are prohibited throughout the country in all the districts, be it red, yellow, uh, be it red, orange or green zones. And these activities are prohibited irrespective of the zone. When we talk of these activities, more or less all these activities involve huge gathering of people, which is the main concern at this point in time to avoid going into huge gatherings and to avoid large gatherings. And this, these are the measures for the well-being and safety of persons. And these are to be applied. These are to be held valid across the country. Movement of individuals for all non-essential activities has been prohibited between 7 a.m., 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. And in the red zones, now we'll specifically talk of the zones. First, we pick up the red zones. These are the activities which are prohibited in the red zones. Up next, we have the activities which are allowed but with restrictions. Now, red zones are also the uh, zones which are hotspot districts. And these activities are allowed with certain restrictions. In every zone, we also have containment zones and these activities are allowed outside the hot, hot spots or the containment zones. All shops selling essential goods will remain open in red zones, but not in malls. In rural areas also, all shops will remain open for essential and non-essential goods. These are the guidelines which have been issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs in view of the third phase of the lockdown, which begins from today. And the lockdown had, has been extended for another two weeks. The next zone is the orange zone. Now, the orange zone are the uh, zones which neither fall in the green zone or in the red zone. Now, these are the activities which are allowed and prohibited in the orange zone. Up next on your screens, we have the green zone. These are the activities which are allowed in green zone. Green zones are the areas which have not reported any case of COVID-19. And here, the MHA has also issued national directives for public places. And as we just mentioned, the main focus of these directives is to prevent huge and large gatherings. And all the activities, all uh, the functions, all everything related to huge gatherings that has been put under check. 
and these are the directives which have to be followed for workplaces. Just a while back, we told you how essential some activities will be allowed during this phase and these are the directives which have to be followed for the workplaces. <coughs> Again, the most important point here is to ensure that social distancing is maintained at the workplaces and the people respectively individually have to take care that they follow the guidelines and they keep themselves safe as the nation has entered